What's going on everybody, Victor here, welcome back to my channel and today we'll be talking once again about MTO and the merchant token. The token has been released, however not everybody has got them yet in their wallets, so I'm going to be reviewing that. I'm also going to go through a quick price prediction on what's going to happen in the next few days, but most importantly what's going to happen, what, in my opinion, by the end of the year. I have to point out that I am not a financial advisor and that this is not financial advice. So please do your own research and take this just as my personal opinion. So without further ado, let's just jump straight away into that. First of all, I want to show you guys that this is my um, launchpad, basically. Uh, they have left some tokens, which apparently are the ones that I got from referrals. And I didn't knew this, and to be honest, I'm quite pissed, but they have been vested up until the 5th of July, 2022. So I have to wait one year before I actually can be, I will be able to withdraw them or I will be able to get them. Um, that was not written anywhere, but again, anyway, let's just, let's just drop it. Let's just drop it. As you can see here, the remaining part of my tokens, 115, which is actually three, came from referrals as well and 112 this is what I bought personally and this has been withdrawn already however as you can see my wallet is connected and my balance of the MTO it is zero so I have not yet received them um, if we go and check the um, the the ether scan basically to be able to see this is the wallet where all the tokens are going to come from this was 64 million which is the 64 million of tokens that are going to be distributed uh, at the moment we have this down to 50 that means that only 14 million tokens has been distributed not all the tokens has yet been distributed which is to be honest understandable uh, they also say, I, I, to be honest, I don't understand. The, the only thing I don't understand, sorry, is why they are be used. They have been using this method, um, sending the tokens from a private wallet. Uh, it is a bit odd, if I have to be honest. Why this was not done automatically by the deployer once the ICO ended? Again, so many questions here. Uh, if you have any opinions about it, let me know in the comments below. What do you think? Why are they using this method? Uh, maybe if you have even more experience of me in ICOs, that would be also great to know why are they doing how, why why are they doing what they are doing. So anyway, they did write down. I couldn't find it recently in their uh, in their website, but before I actually invested, I checked. And they were, there was a paragraph written that they will be shipping the tokens, uh, will be withdrawn in batches for 24 to 48 hours. So that's, I believe, is what's happening here. Now, this is unfortunately affecting the price, yes. And again, is one of the <laughs> many things that I am assuming people are going to hate about MTO or the HIPs, how they are managing this ICO. But I believe again in the wrong in the long run they are gonna be learning about these mistakes that they have been making. So now uh, if you haven't received your tokens yet, just guys be patient. There is no point at this at this time to panic. Uh, if you have invested into this company or into this project, I hope and believe that you did so because you believe in the project for the long run. So if the price crashed and you haven't, you were not able to make a profit today, just hold it and hopefully by the end of the year or longer down the line, we will actually be able to see a profit. That's actually my personal opinion. That's what I'm actually going to do. Um, let's just jump straight away into the price prediction or price analysis, let's call it like that, uh, for what's going to happen in, in my opinion in the next few days and in the long term as well. So first of all, we can see here that yesterday MTO was trading at £4.20. Again, nobody has received their tokens, but where people, we had we seen people buy the tokens. As soon as we saw a, a, the first batch of tokens coming out, the price crashed. And if I have to be honest, that was completely something that we should have been seeing coming because, of course, a lot of people that came in earlier, there is a lot of fad going around. 
um, MTO, sorry, the, 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 the developers have been making a lot of mistakes uh, as well on how they are managing this. There is poor communication. So again, a lot of things going on that literally brought the idea that this was going to crash. So the $3.20 was not going to be holding for a long time. However, I have seen this price this morning going from 920 to 999 again so sorry from 92 cents to 99 cents and it has been holding pretty steady so it keep going down but keep kind of like pushing it up back up and this is what i say actually in my previous video i do feel that because of how the ico worked up we saw a massive rush of people pouring in in the later stages which it was 80 cents till one dollar one dollar and ten and then it kind of like went mainstream when they uh, added the extra faces and we saw even more people putting in and that's the reason why the price reached managed to reach the three dollars twenty however on the on the range of the 90 cents to one dollars ten there was a lot of support it was i have to point out that this was while we were in a bull market run the crypto world so that's something that you need to take in consideration but in the worst case scenario what i believe is that this the price of the token will might oscillate between 90 and 1 dollar for the next few days depending on of course how many how much fear there is out there and most importantly, if they manage to communicate on time. If they see that the price is crashing and they start releasing more communication, they start talking to us to reassure their investors of what's going on on their Twitter or their official accounts, then definitely we will be seeing this holding up. Because, of course, as I said, only 14 million of tokens have been released, still 50 left to do. But at this point, we don't have any more the fear of people selling out because they will get huge returns. Before it was, oh, you bought, uh, I don't know, 80 cents like me, personally speaking, I bought 80 cents. If I have the opportunity of selling at 320 and make a profit, I will definitely be tempted, 100%. But at 90 cents, at $1, I am not going to be selling this off, 100% no. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm just going to be holding it up. If you are here, if you are an investor, I believe that you invested in this project because of the potential that this project has. It has massive partnerships, real use case, and most importantly, payment protection, something that it is unseen in the crypto world. I really want to remind you guys that because I feel that this has been faded out and a lot of people don't understand the potential of this token. So this is something that you guys have to really consider. Once this starts showing off the capabilities and we have a partnership with the taxis, we have a partnership with the new payments coming up um, with like within Europe. And if this starts showing up and you can actually see that it works, people can actually see that it works, we will see uh, this project taking off very, very soon. Remember that there is a... Um, they, they will be doing a showcase in um, in Dubai with the Binance CEO as well. So that, that will be huge as well. And I believe, as I said, that this project is just taking off. And that's the reason why I believe, personally speaking, that we will that we are seeing this support at this channels. If you see literally in the past couple of minutes, the price dropped to 98 cents just to be taken back up. And what I believe is happening is people are buying up because they believe in this project and they are saying, I am like be greedy when other people are fearful. And that's what you have to consider. Really, really, really important. You have to be greedy when other people are fearful. Again, not financial advice, but personally speaking, I bought in at 80 cents. If this price drops, I'm just going to wait for all the tokens to be released. If this drops at 80 cents or below, I will definitely be buying more because, again, I believe in this project. Look, it just dropped 10 cents basically in the past uh, few minutes. And I just want to see if more token has been released. 
So no token has been released yet. So that must must be someone that actually got their tokens. As I said, my tokens has already been sent, but yet not received. So again, I'm assuming one, once people start getting their balances, some of them will start uh, selling out. Even though you have a lot of people, remember that you have a lot of people that bought in at uh, 10 cents, sorry, 20 cents, 30 cents, 40 cents. So that's something to consider. Look, once again, once one dollar. So there is support here to be seen. There is a lot of support. There is people that are buying in into this token because they believe in the project. And once again, if this drops below the, uh, the, the 80 cents or at 80 cents, I will be buying more. Uh, if I see that there is a good, good support in the next few days, depending on once the tokens have been released, I'm not going to rush in right now. But once the token are being released, then definitely I will buy in more if the support stays at the $1 mark, once all the tokens have been released. If it drops below 80 cents, even though the tokens have not yet been released, I will still buy more because again, it will be beneficial for me. It is discounted from the price I bought in. So that's how I am seeing it. I bought in at a certain price because I believe that was a good price. So if it drops below that, definitely a discount for me. If it's trading above, as long as it gets kind of like there is that support because people are not selling anymore or people are keep buying it, then definitely I will buy more. But that's I need to see all the tokens being released. And that's something I wouldn't do right now. As I was saying, if you believe in this project, and if you believe that this is, oh, went it went to 75 cents and I don't have balance here. Now I, <laughs> I'm upset that I don't have any USDTs in my wallet right now, but definitely will be adding on something there to buy. Um, anyway, what I was saying is, if you believe in this project, it does have great case use, uh, low supply. They, are, they will be burning some tokens. By the way, they haven't released yet any communications about the burning of the tokens, but I'm assuming once they decide to burn or as soon as everything, all the tokens have been released, they will be burning the remaining part of the tokens and that will be communicated on Twitter as well. So also we will see the launch pad being launched that you will be able to uh, interact with the network and be part of the community. So I'm assuming as well there, and this is just assumptions. These are all things that will bring a lot of strength to the community and to the project. And once we see that coming up, guys, the price is just gonna go up, in my opinion. And I do see the price hitting $10 by the end of the year, if we see this level of support. And of course, with a massive assumption that the price of Bitcoin keeps getting steady. Because remember, the whole market, the crypto market relies on the price of Bitcoin. If we see Bitcoin crashing more, then again, no one will be investing in all the tokens as well. And I'm just so annoyed that I don't have money here. So actually guys, I will believe in you. <laughs> no, no, I'm joking. But really, guys, uh, this is my points on this, um, on the token, on the price prediction. And again, this is just my personal opinion. Let me know in the comments below what do you think? What will be the price by the end of the year and next week? I will really want to hear from you. What do you think is going to happen? I am going to go and exchange some of, some of my tokens and buy more MTOs if this keeps going dropping below 80s. So see you soon.